So I'm going to do a little video for you guys today before I clock in. Um, I, this is like, what, 6, 6.30 in the morning. I'm not clocked in yet, so I actually have nothing to do. Shop's empty, so I'm not going to clock in yet, and I'm going to do a little video for you guys. I have been getting questions lately about misfires on a Cummins engine. So I'm going to go over an important part of the fuel system with you. This little guy is what people call the fuel delivery tube. Some people call it the crossover tube, connecting tube, whatever you want to call it. It's the transfers of fuel from the fuel line through your head into your injector. Uh, this is mostly found on 24 valve Cummins trucks. And it's also, Deere uses these a lot. Uh, most high pressure common rail systems use these. These little guys are a compression fit on the very end. That little end is a compression fit. So if you try to reuse these, you have to be very careful with making sure their placement inside the injector is exactly the same as you pulled it out. Um, these crush fit slightly into the body of the injector and if you don't keep it with its parent injector or you like tweak it there's a possibility I'm not saying this is going to happen every time there's possibility that this will not seal correctly uh, the other part of this is the end where the fuel line goes on to um, if you've ever tried to pull these out of a Cummins head especially especially the back cylinders it is a bitch and I don't, you can't really see this on the video, but this one is number six that I pulled out yesterday on my truck. And I started figuring out that I pulled these out and tried to redo the O-rings like three times on this because I thought that's what was leaking. Uh, it turns out the very end, which I don't know how I didn't see this before, is nicked to shit and it's scored from trying to use pliers to pull it out of my head. Um, be very careful when you pull these out because if you even put a little nick in there, it's the same theory as this end into the body of the injector, only the fuel line goes onto this. So if there's any kind of little nick, I've had this happen three times to me now on my crossover tubes, um, where a little nick in there will actually cause fuel, that fuel line won't see correctly and it won't seal correctly and it'll come out behind, it'll look like it's leaking out of the fuel line nut. Um, so it's really important to make sure these stay good and clean and nice. Also, your fuel line ends. Most fuel systems require you or want you to replace high pressure fuel lines and these every single time you take them apart or loosen them. Most of the time you can get away with not doing that, but you gotta be careful, um, especially with these crossover tubes. And I got some from BD Diesel from Mr. Diesel here in town, and I, that's what I put in my number six cylinder yesterday, so hopefully I quit having problems with these, but I think most of my problems with these were self-inflicted. So that is my tech tip for the day. Don't forget to check out my uh, True Fans page. Um, I will be posting a link of that, and on there it has some of my modeling stuff, and it also has a bunch of tech tips on there. Uh, the Anmar valve adjustment, uh, flywheel housing hole is actually on there, so don't forget to check that out.